Hello and welcome to this Walking Talking Mock uh, on the electric circuits higher demand questions. Um, there are 12 question, a 12 question pack to go um, with these uh, with these videos. Um, so we're on question three. Let's have a look at question three. A student investigated how current varies with potential difference for two different lamps. Her results are shown in the figure below. Okay, so we've got current in amps, potential difference in volts, lamp A, lamp B. Okay, yep. Complete the circuit diagram for the circuit that the student could have used to obtain the results shown in the figure above. Okay, so there's not a great deal of room for this. I think in reality there'd, um, there'd be a lot of space here, but uh, let's squeeze it in here. So this is a practical, it's one of the required practicals. Uh, it's very similar to the required practical, sorry, um, where we, you look at the uh, resistance of different components. In fact, it is, I think it is a required practical. So first thing is you've got a battery and it gives you the it gives you the battery symbol in there, so you have to use a battery. Uh, we've got a lamp, so we're just gonna. What I'm gonna do first of all, I'm just gonna put these components in in place. Uh, current, I need to be able to measure current, so I need an ammeter, and I've got to measure potential difference across uh, across the lamp. So I've got to use a voltmeter like that. So let me just put that in. I'm gonna do the voltmeter last of all. We always connect the voltmeter last of all. I'm gonna an ammeter there. Uh, and I need to be able to change, and the ammeter will be connected to the bulb. And the bulb will be connected to the battery. Anything else I need in there? I need to be able to change the potential difference through here. So I've got to change and change the current as well. So I need something that's going to change the current and change the potential difference in this circuit. Uh, I can't change the battery because it tells it it gives me the battery. So I can't put a, ver a variable power supply in. So I need something that's going to vary. Whenever we think of something that varies, the simplest choice is always a variable resistor. Okay, like that. So that's my circuit, and that would work. However, that wouldn't allow me to calculate to find the potential difference. So I need to put a voltmeter in there as well. And your circuit can be in any arrangement provided the variable resistor, ammeter and bulb are all in series with the battery and the voltmeter is across the bulb like that, okay? Because it measures the difference in energy of each charge arriving here compared to the diff compared to how much energy it's got when it leaves here. And the bigger the, the potential difference, the more energy each one has transferred to the bulb. Okay, so that's that question there. So three marks, okay, so that's, I'm going to get a mark for the meters, uh, mark, mark, and a mark. Okay, so that makes sense. Which lamp will be the brightest at any potential difference? And that's interesting, at any potential difference, explain your answer and use the figure above to aid your explanation. Okay, the fact that I've got to use the figure above means I need to draw on that graph. Okay, uh, it's worth two marks, so I need one, two bullet points. So, which one's it going to be? Uh, well, let's see, it's going to be, in this case, uh, lamp A. Okay, it's always going to be lamp A, because um, lamp A, let me just put some lines in there. So, lamp A is always, it's for, for the same potential difference, so um, each Coulomb, each coulomb of charge here is, is transferring 10 joules to each lamp. So one coulomb of charge, one gang of electrons is transferring 10 joules to lamp B and lamp A at this particular potential difference. The difference is there are almost twice as many, in fact over twice as many uh, coulombs of charge coming to lamp A as lamp B. So each one is transferring 10 joules, well this is getting loads more. It's getting 0.74 compared to uh, about 0.3. That's not a very straight line, is it? Nice straight line there. Compared to about 0.37 uh, there. Okay, so which one? Well, it's going to be lamp A. Lamp A because its current is higher and B 
at every PD. Okay, now that's not really enough because I've got two marks. Lots of students will only get one mark for this answer. Uh, you probably don't necessarily get a mark for just saying lamb A either because you've got to explain your answer and use the figure. Okay, so, um, well, I need to explain why that is. Okay, so because current higher than every PD, this means that more charge passing through transfers um, transfers energy transfers uh, more energy in total um, each second okay careful with uh, transfers each energy more energy because obviously I could transfer uh, lots of energy over a long period of time um, it's the amount of each second that's important okay that's the power of the bulb the power of the light um, otherwise you could have a really dim light and just leave it leave it on for ages and ages uh, lamp B has the higher resistance at any potential difference explain how the figure above shows this okay so uh, this is worth two marks as well Lamp B has higher resistance. Explain why the figure shows this. Okay, so one, two. So, uh, how does it show this? Well, high resistance, high resistance means less current as harder for it to flow. Okay, we also know, also, V equals IR. So, um, high R means lower I. Okay. And I want to show, explain how the figure shows this. Well, this can be seen by the B line being under A. Okay, peculiar question. This this is an old uh, from an old exam, and it's actually not very it's not a very good question because it aren't. It actually, in the mark scheme, it says about gradient. Well, gradient is not resistance. Okay, uh, you can't use gradient as a proxy for resistance. So be careful. The only time you can use gradient for resistance is if you're looking at an ohmic resistor, which we're not. We're looking at bulbs. An ohmic resistor would be a straight line through the origin. Okay, so it, I know the mark scheme says the gradient of B is always less. Be careful with that. That's bad physics, actually. Um, I don't know where this question came from. It's an old question. It's not one from the new exam specification. Uh, question D. Both lamps behave like ohmic conductors through a range of values of potential difference. Ohmic conductors, okay, we're talking about fixed resistors. Through a range of values of potential difference. Use the figure above to determine the range of these lamps. Explain your answer. It's worth three marks, so one, two, three use the figure above to determine okay so let's think about what we know first of all a fixed resistor um, means that if potential difference doubles the current doubles okay so for uh, ohmic i use their word conductor let's just say fixed resistor v is proportional to I okay so what that means is so a straight line through origin okay proportional graphs always a straight line through origins 
So first of all, I'm, I've, I've laid that out. I've said that I know uh, what the graph should look like for the, the bit where it looks like a, a fixed resistor. So let's see. So I'm looking for a bit that goes through the origin and is straight. Okay, well, well, that's not very much at all, is it? Probably that. So if I do a straight line there, it's straight for a little while, and this one. So this one's straight until that point, maybe. This one's straight, let's say, possibly until that point. Okay, and that's it. So the range of these lamps, so lamp A, lamp A uh, is lamp, in fact, I'm going to put a colon there, so for lamp A, for lamp A, I'm going to put a colon there, uh, lamp A is, um, behaves like um, fixed resistor for V equals naught all up to a grand total of what's that 1.2 volts lamp B behaves like Fixed resistor for V equals naught up to two volts. Okay, so we've used the figure above to determine it. We've we've drawn our lines on there. Okay, you can see the lines quite clearly, straight lines through the origin. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, so hope that makes sense. Take care. See you soon.